sure they're welcome back to the once a week kitchen. Um, following on from the theme of uh, trying not to throw any leftover vegetables away, um, I've got another recipe for you today and it's a cheesy vegetable bake which is absolutely delicious. Once you've tried this you'll never throw anything away again ever. Also I want to show you once again my energy saving cookbook. This book will save you time, it will save you money and it will save you effort and it will save you energy and we all know how expensive energy is these days. So check it out, go along to Amazon Create Space. It's £5.99 plus um, postage and packing. And believe me, you will save that in energy costs in no time at all. So go on, treat yourself, get yourself a copy. Right, another dish uh, to make from vegetables. Um, bits and pieces that you may have left over in your fridge. So, a cheesy vegetable bake. So I've got a potato, I've scrubbed it and cleaned it up. I'm going to slice that thin leg. I'm going to use that for the topping. Um, two carrots, half a green pepper, half a red pepper, two onions, a um, couple of sticks of celery and a few baby corn cobs. Um, a tablespoonful of vegetable oil, an ounce of butter, an ounce of flour, some salt and pepper, half a teaspoonful of English mustard and 250 ml of milk. So those last ingredients, apart from the oil, they're going to make a cheese sauce to combine all the vegetables together. Right, I've got the uh, oil in the pan. I'm going to now add in the chopped up vegetables. A bit of good oat stir. seasoning in now. Some salt. And some black pepper. Pop the lid on and again 10 minutes to soften. Put the gas on at the lowest point and they will cook very gently and start to soften. Right, while the vegetables are sweating down, we're going to make the sauce. I'm going to save a little melted butter um, to brush over the topping of the bake. So melt the butter. I'm going to add in the mustard. Mustard's essential for cheese sauce. I don't know why, but it just enhances the flavour. Salt and pepper. In with the plain flour. Put oat stir. a minute and we want it to sizzle. Right, 
Right, the flour's been cooking for a minute now. So we're chucking the milk and whisk like mad. Right, the sauce is bubbling away now and it's thickened up. So we're going to switch off the heat and throw in the cheese. Another rule with cheese sauce is that you don't boil it once you've added the cheese or it can go stringy. So the cheese just melts in. That's a good thick sauce now and that will coat the vegetables and bring the dish together. Next job is to put the potatoes on top. As you can see I've sliced them very thinly. We'll put a row down the middle. And I've got the oven set at 180 which is well I think it's about gas mark 4. But we want to cook this slowly because the potatoes, although they slice thinly, they do take quite a long while to soften. So next job. Is to brush the top with melted butter. So this needs to bake for about 45 minutes until the potatoes are tender and everything's piping hot. So it's going in at 180 and that should be absolutely delicious when it comes out. So there you go, cheesy vegetable bake. As you can see the sauce has bubbled up and it's all looks wonderful. Can't wait to try it. So I do hope you'll have a go at that rather than throwing away your bits of vegetables that you've got in your fridge. Cook them all together, put a cheese sauce on and put a topping on the top and you've got a family meal there. So um, yeah, have a go at that. It smells delicious. Wish we had a smelly vision. Now don't forget, don't forget to go to Amazon Create Space to get your copy of the Energy Saving Cookbook and make this year the year that you start cooking smart. Bye.